okay good day guys welcome back to today's lesson on star pro part six today we are going to learn about the beta angles okay so we are going to orientate our column in the direction which we want according to what is on plan so let's go to start pro uh, yes okay so what i can easily do now is just easily assign the property so i have my thickness so um, define the rectangle my yd my that's the depth is going to be the longer part of my column so i'm using 0 0.6 and my z, z is going to be 0 0.23 so add close so select parallel to y select parallel to y and assign to selected beams yes assign to selected beams okay you can see this then the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to select my beam cursor I'm going to highlight all the beams here, then right click new view. Okay, so I can see it in this view. So just right click and 3D rendering. Okay, so I can see the direction my um, columns are going. So you can see this direction here at this point is this column here. So I can see my column is on um, start pro is facing this direction. The longer side is facing this direction. But on my plan, I want it to face this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the beta angle. So go back to start pro. Beta angle. Create beta angle in degrees. You can leave it in degrees. That's 90 degree. So add. Okay. So let me close the 3D and assign to one. And I'll show you what it's about. So close. So let me select these two columns. Course. Okay. Assign to selected beams. Assign. Okay. So let me right click and we'll see it in 3D now. 3D rendering. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So you can see it the way it's orientating already. So that's what we want to do today. So go back to geometry. Okay. So the next one, we have this, we have this, and we have this, okay? So this, these three at the edge, or I can select them this way. One, two, three. So you can see them isometric, okay? So you go back to, we can create a new view new view property beta angle assign to view just assign it to view okay so view go back to the whole structure again i can go straight to the plan and just select the column i've done this three then let me see the next one so this one is working with the initial property we assigned so i need to change Okay, I need to change this, this, this two. Okay, so I go back to start pro. So I like this. Sorry, I like this, and I like this. So hold control key for multiple selection. So you can see this two assigned to selected beams. Yes. Okay, so go back to the plan again. So I assign to this. Okay. The next one I want to do now is to assign to this. Okay, so that's on good line six. Okay, so that is this one. I have this. Um, which other one? One, two. Okay, I have that. Check the isometric view. Okay, assign to selected beams. Yes. Okay. So let's see how many are orientated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine. Let's see how many we've assigned it to. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, 
five six seven eight nine okay so complete the others are okay so in the next video we are going to learn what offsets is about for the columns thank you very much